The Sunday School lesson for March 5th, 2023 is Love in Difficult Times, Luke chapter 15, verses 11 through 24. To my viewers and subscribers, welcome to my channel, The Backstory. If you are new here, I am Audrey, and on this channel, you will become acquainted with what happened before each Sunday School lesson. The standardized agenda is as follows. I will share the backstory, read the lesson text, and offer a brief lesson summary. To my subscribers, thank you so much for coming back week after week after week and viewing my videos. To the viewers, please subscribe, like, and comment so that the YouTube algorithm will continue to push out my videos. Thank you so much in advance for your support as you help me walk in the path of my gifts. The backstory to today's lesson is a parable. A parable compares something familiar to a truth about God and his work. It rebukes pious leaders who disdain Jesus because he welcomes sinners. Luke chapter 15, verse 2. And a parable challenges audiences' attitude, which are at odds with God's work. In Luke chapter 15, there are three parables. The parable of a lost sheep. Luke chapter 15, verses 3 through 7. The parable of a lost coin, Luke chapter 15, verses 8 through 10, and the parable of a prodigal son, sometimes called the parable of the lost son, Luke chapter 15, verses 11 through 32. The three parables in Luke chapter 15 are about something lost, found, and rejoiced over when found. Because the parable of the lost coin comes right before the parable of the prodigal son, which is our today's lesson, I want to look briefly at the parable of the lost coin to see if it follows the structure of something lost, found, and rejoiced over. In Luke chapter 15, verses 8 through 9, I read, Or suppose a woman has ten silver coins and loses one. Doesn't she light a lamp, sweep the house, and search carefully until she finds it? And when she finds it, she calls her neighbors and friends together and says, Rejoice with me. I have found my lost coin. The parable of the lost coin continues with verse 10, a very compelling verse. In the same way, I tell you, there is rejoicing in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Key verse. The son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Luke chapter 15, verse 21. Verse 11. Jesus continued, There was a man who had two sons. Verse 12. The younger one said to his father, Father, give me my share of the estate. So he divided his property between them. Verse 13. Not long after that, the younger son got together all he had, set off for a distant country, and there squandered his wealth in wild living. Verse 14, after he had spent everything, there was a severe famine in that whole country, and he began to be in need. 
Verse 15. So he went and hired himself out to a citizen of that country who sent him to his fields to feed pigs. Verse 16. He longed to fill his stomach with the pods that the pigs were eating, but no one gave him anything. Verse 17, when he came to his senses, he said, How many of my father's hired servants have food to spare? And here I am starving to death. Verse 18, I will set out and go back to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. Verse 19, I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. Verse 20. So he got up and went to his father. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son, threw his arms round him, and kissed him. Verse 21, the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Verse 22, but the father said to his servants, Quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Verse 23, bring the fatted calf and kill it. Let's have a feast and celebrate. Verse 24, for this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. So they began to celebrate. A brief summary. While this third parable is usually described as the parable of the prodigal son, some have suggested it might be more properly labeled the parable of the elder son. The passion of the searching shepherd is seen in the father, spotting his son still a long way off. Today's parable invites all people to embrace the upside down nature of the family of God. In this family, God offers and desires reunion where broken relationship exists. We may feel shamefully unworthy as the parable's younger son felt. However, like the parable's father, God is generous and merciful. His generosity has been displayed for centuries. Like a shepherd who cares for his flock, God cares for his people and provides for their needs. Such actions give testimony to all people of God's generosity and faithfulness. God welcomes all people to become his beloved children in his family. He desires his people to feel hope and not shame. And now, dear children, continue in him so that when he appears, we may be confident and unashamed before him at his coming. Romans chapter 2, verse 28. Thank you so much for watching. Join me soon for the next backstory. Stay safe.